Hi, this is Mike Peterson from Challenge Island, Oakland County East, back with another one of our Steamtastic Fridays. For the next five weeks, we're going to tackle fall. So we're going to talk about some of the steam that goes into the, this season of the year. So in particular, since this is our first week and we'll talk about science, we're going to talk a little bit about fall in a couple different ways. So we'll talk about why leaves fall and why leaves fall a little slower than some other things do. So first, why leaves fall? So when you look at leaves, you know, normally in the summer, they're green. The reason they're green is they have a special chemical in them called chlorophyll. So what that chlorophyll does is that helps the leaf to act like a food factory for the tree. So what the tree does is it sends water up the tree. And then when it combines with the chlorophyll and with the sunlight coming from up above, that makes food for the tree. Now, when we get to fall, Everything gets a little colder, the sun kind of goes away, the tree has all the energy it needs for the winter, so the leaf really doesn't do much good anymore. So what the tree does, it's pretty smart. It actually takes all that, all those good nutrients back out of the leaf and puts them back into the ground so it can recycle them again for next year. So once all that's out, there's really nothing left for the leaf to do, so the tree lets the leaf go and it falls down. So, so that's, why, that's why leaves fall in the fall. But another thing that's kind of interesting about falling is the different objects can fall at different speeds. So and there, there's a reason for that. So just for example, when it comes to a leaf, it takes about 350 leaves to make a pound. So trees, so leaves are pretty light. So in fact, they're about as light as a regular paper clip. So if I drop two things that are the same weight, you would expect that they would fall at the same speed. But if we try dropping them, let's see what happens here. All right, so if you watch closely there, the paper clip actually fell a lot faster than the leaf did, even though they weigh the same amount. So the reason that happened was not because of the weight, but because of something called air resistance. So air is all around us, and air is made up of little tiny particles. They're so small we can't see them or feel them, but they make a difference. So for example, when you feel the wind blowing, that's air resistance blowing against you. And so when we drop this leaf, it's got a lot of area to it, so it's kind of big. So when it drops, it's going to bounce into more of those little air particles and slow it down a little bit. Where the paper clip is pretty solid and pretty small, so it's not going to hit as many of those air particles. So when these drop, this one kind of slows down because of the, the air and because of the wind, and this one goes a lot faster. So that'd be the difference. So if you'd like to experiment with that at home a little bit, what you could do is try taking a couple leaves or even a piece of paper, take that up somewhere high in your house and then drop something else that's a lot smaller but weighs about the same, like a paper clip or something like that, and watch and see how much of a difference you can get between one dropping versus the other, and you'll prove that you have air resistance going on. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you again next week. inside. Try taking those up somewhere high in your house and compare it to a paper clip or something really light and see, see what those do for you. All right, so with that, thank you very much for coming and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week.